Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between types of mixture. So as you may remember that in our other videos, we classify the mixture by two different types, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. So in this video, I'm going to give it you some examples for the mixture we worked on and also you have a better understanding regarding the mixture definition. If you remember that, we classify the matters by two different groups, pure substances and mixture. And I said mixture means a combination of some pure substances. Mixture is a mix of pure substances. When we mix pure substances, we may make two types of mixtures based on the appearance, based on the composition. So when we see only one, only one, homo means one, if you see only one component or you have a uniform throughout the mixture, we call that homogeneous. So only one component is visible. Is visible. And whenever we have more than one, whenever we have more than one, we say heterogeneous. Heterogeneous, again, to remind you, means more than one. So two, more than one, two, three, any numbers you may consider for that one. More than one, we call that homogeneous. More than one is visible. Example given to you, oil, water, salt, water. So let me work on this one, this example. So as you say that, in this example, we cannot see salt and water. We added salt to water, but you cannot see that one. So we have homogeneous mixture here. And this, in this example, you see both components. You may see oil and water here. So we call that heterogeneous mixture. So these two examples help you to understand what is the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture. But before working on some learning check questions and working on some examples, I may ask you, please keep in mind this definition. We need to work on this in the next chapters. But always homogeneous mixture, we call them solutions. So solution in chemistry means homogeneous mixture. So we may not say homogeneous mixture. We may call that solution. So for solution, we cannot see all components. Only one component is visible in solution. So please Remember any examples for solution like salt water, sugar water, and you will see only one component is visible. And for most of the example, you are going to say water is only component is visible. Right now, I may ask you to work on this question. So question says, identify each of the following as a pure substance or mixture. So to answer this question, you need to identify which one is pure which one is mixture? To remind you, pure substance, it means we only talk about one substance, only one substance, only one substance. And for mixture, we may talk about a combination of substances, more than one substance. So you may pause this video, think about this, and after that back here and see your answer is correct or not. So I'm sure for the first one, based on the terminology we may have, this is the two different pure substances. So I'm sure you may say we have mixture. My question, what type of mixture do you have? So you will see both of components. So we do have heterogeneous mixture. How about the next one? Aluminum foil. We just talk about aluminum. We don't talk about anything else. So foil is one form of aluminum. You may work in whenever you work 
on the kitchen for baking, cooking, you may see the aluminum foil is commonly used material in the baking, on baking and cooking. So aluminum, we talk about only one atom. Atom means elements and elements means pure substance, only one, only one thing, only one. So this is a pure substance. How about helium? Helium, it would be very similar to aluminum. Helium by this chemical symbol, HE. We talk about only one thing, element. So one thing is only one pure substance. How about air? Air, this is the example I may ask you. Most of the time, this is a question on your exams, on your tests. So air is composed of some chemicals. Can you mention them? You may say carbon dioxide. You may say oxygen. So you may say nitrogen. Anything that you heard about air, air pollution, and so on. So as you see here, in air we have different substances. Carbon dioxide, oxygen, nitrogen. So air is going to compose of more than one pure substance. We call that is mixture. So my question, what type of mixture? Homogeneous or heterogeneous? Please remember this slide. Homogeneous, it means we can see only one component. So everything is uniform throughout appearance. And for heterogeneous, we may see all components. How about air? In air, you see only one thing. You cannot identify CO2, O2, N2. You cannot see oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen. Everything it has uniform throughout for air. So we have homogeneous mixture. So homogeneous mixture for air. So as you see here, mixture mixture and pure substances in it. And the last question for this video, please work on this learning check question. Identify each of the following as homogeneous and heterogeneous. So for these examples, we definitely have mixture. All of them, they are mixture. But we are going to know if we have homogeneous or heterogeneous. So homogeneous means one component is visible, heterogeneous more than one. Please pause the video and look at the answers after that. Hope you can get the correct answer. And right now this is the answer for these questions. Heterogeneous for A, B for shampoo, we have homogeneous, so this is the Uniform appearance throughout sugar water, homogeneous, the examples I give it you. And for the last one, we are going to have components. So we call that heterogeneous mixture. Thank you guys for watching this video as well.